Caitlin and I were talking, we were like, we should just make these like 20 seconds and that's all you want. And then, but I guess that was the boss around here, so this will be a couple minutes. Um, so first off, I'm going to start with a story of me last summer on the Teton River in Idaho with my family. So we had about 12 of some kayaks that we were going down, and about a couple minutes in, we saw a path off to the left, and me and my cousin were like, okay, let's do it, it's going to be fun. Right as we got into it, we figured out that the current was hard to get back on the normal path of the river. So my cousin made it, and I was feeling kind of lazy that day. I was like, you know what? It'll just, I'll meet my family right around the corner. So I was like, okay guys, I'll see you in a couple minutes. So I started going, and I, I'm waiting there for about five minutes for my family, and they're not there, so I'm getting a little worried. So I keep going down the river for 30 minutes, and every five or six minutes I'm stopping, I'm waiting, no one's there. So I realize I'm like, I guess I'm just on another part of the river, and then all of a sudden I start hearing my brother and my family calling out my name, and I was like, it was so refreshing to see them and finish the rest of the way So this place to high school, like, in the beginning of my river journey, I was scared to start, but right as I got into high school, it wasn't the scariest I anticipated. Me taking the other path is like all of us coming from different families, backgrounds, and friends, all of us leading to the same destination, graduation. Some of us got lost along the way, some of us did not have the best time. Some of us took 40 AP classes and stayed until one, like the Bennett's. Um, that wasn't me, though. Uh, but we all made it here, and that's what matters. Now I'm going to talk about my favorite part of Jordan High School, and that's our diversity. This is always my favorite part of Jordan. I love showing up every day and walking through the doors and just seeing all the different people that make our school amazing. I honestly think we have one of the most diverse schools in the whole state, and I love it so much because it prepares us for the real world. I love the way we treat each other, Jordan. There's no, uh, no other people I don't want to spend my four years with. So there's one major concept I've learned from Jordan is that my attitude creates the reality I live in. My first year as a freshman, I hated high school. I hated coming to school after the weekend and sitting in a classroom. My attitude, my attitude before going to high school was, it's going to suck, I'm not going to have fun, and it wasn't the best time. My sophomore year, it got a little better, but right before junior year, I just, I, I was like, I have two more years here. I'm like, I'm going to make it the best I can. So my whole perspective changed about school. I decided every morning, I woke up, I was going to make it a good day, no matter what was going on in my life. I got more involved going to sports, and just more involved in school in general, and that really helped me out to decide to run for SBO. And this isn't a concept that just applies to high school. It applies to every part of our lives in the future. Going with a positive outlook, tell yourself it's going to be a good time, and put in 100% in your see results. Something that was hard for our school this year is that we didn't win any state championships. We came really close in a lot of sports. This is going to happen to every single one of us later in life. You're not always going to get your dream school, get your dream job, dream spouse. Maybe you broke up with your sweetheart, high school sweetheart. It's okay. Um, this happens to everyone. Uh, I want you guys to lift yourself up, dust yourself off, and try harder in the next stage of your journey. So there's ways you can react from think, uh, your life turning upside down. There's three ways. One, you can stay at home on the couch, watch Game of Thrones, like Cinco, or just watch The Office. Or two, you can turn into Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite and be like, if Coach would put me in fourth quarter, we would be stage chance. Or third, you can learn from it, move on, and try harder. Don't uh, learn from the past, don't live in it. I want you all to take a step back in your days at Jordan High School and think that I do my best work, that I have fun, that I make as many friends as I wanted to, and if you didn't, that's okay. You can always try harder in the next stages of your life. I know that all of us are going to have amazing things ahead of us that we can accomplish and do. The possibilities are endless. There's a quote from C.S. Lewis that I love, I'm going to read to you guys. There are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. So don't just forget about your days in Jordan and the mistakes you've made here. Take what you learned and go make your life what you want it to be. Whatever you do in the future, make it something that you love, something that you look forward to after the weekend, something that you wake up with a smile on your face every morning. I'm forever grateful for my time in Jordan, the amazing people I met, friends I made, and the teachers I had, and the many memories I'll remember for the years to come. Jordan High, thank you. Diggers until we die.